Prime Minister Peter O'Neill made these announcements at the swearing-in of Poponawa and Tomuriesa at the government house today. He said the decision to appoint Patrick Pruitch as treasurer is based on his seniority and experience, saying there was only three years left before the next elections and there was no place for members to play politics. And he is not new to uh, uh, the role of treasurer. He has been the, one of our longest serving treasurers of our nation. Pruaj was the former treasurer in the NA led Somare government. When O'Neill was asked if he had anything to say on his recent decisions to sack Don Polia and other ministers and its impact on his government when the 30 month grace period expires next year and a motion for a vote of no confidence is moved, this was his reply. Uh, that is why it's important that uh, even uh, our, our media and everyone else stops playing this political game. You are, you are only fueling it, <laughs> Bu bu building up egos of people, you know, that uh, uh, you, you can climb Mount Everest when you know that it's not fit to climb Mount Everest. <laughs> so uh, please, let's, uh, let's work within realities. And I think uh, this government is now set for uh, 2017. He said he consulted the party in line with the Alatau Accord and invited them to nominate candidates for consideration and after consultation appointed member Poponawa and Tomuriesa to their respective portfolios. Prime Minister O'Neill also said Pruaj will automatically assume the role of the chairman of World Bank and IMF by virtue of his position as the treasurer. This is given to the country, and it is by rotation. Yes. Being a member of IMF and World Bank Board is by rotation. Uh, automatically, it goes to uh, the, the, the uh, treasurer and the leader of the National Alliance, and he will go and chair the next meeting in Washington uh, in April. I think it's in April uh, 8 or 9. Ruth Rungola, National and TV News. Well experienced, as many of you know. So.